That right there is totally the money shot. Well, how to do, everybody? What's up, you guys? We are out here in beautiful North Carolina. It is a really chilly day out, but today we're gonna be doing some oyster harvesting for y'all and show you guys the best of the land out here. That's right, y'all. So today, Christy and I, we wanted to do a video that really all of y'all can do. It's super easy. This is how you can make yourself some super, super tasty food. And you can do this on your own with easy tools. Um, oysters are something that's very, very important to actually to Christy and I, to this channel, to you guys, and to these fisheries. That's so make sure that you guys are doing this correctly, legally, and that you guys only take enough oysters that you need for yourself. Yep. There she goes, <laughs> getting in the water. All right, give me my right. bushel. All right, y'all, here we are in the water. There's Christy. What's up, you guys? Got a garden rake, just got a five gallon bucket, and we've got a uh, nail claw bar right here that's gonna help us kind of break these clusters of oysters apart. So right, without further ado, it. let's go find some. Low tide is the best time to locate oysters. And that's all we're doing right now. Christy is uh, just walking around trying to locate these oysters, right. which are gonna be grouped up. Some of them will be actually like in the grass, um, but that's, yeah, it's super easy. So it's dead low tide and we're just out here. Boom. Oh yeah, that's Look at the that. mother load. All right, let's take a look. That's the one that we want, right here. That one? Yeah, that's a perfect All right, so oyster. how do you know when it's like a good oyster? Well, you want them to be at least like three inches. Yep, these things are- Because that's legal, but this yeah. right here is prime time. So we're definitely gonna harvest this one. This guy is going in the bucket. That's, that's what y'all wanna look for. That's about perfect size. Um, even the smaller ones taste really good too. So that's exactly what it looks like right there. Oh, Boom, yeah. mother load. <laughs> okay. Here, let's see if we have any. This one's perfect. Oh, yeah. That is perfect. All right, you guys, just found a perfect specimen right here. Nice size oyster. It's got, we're gonna let these smaller ones grow so that way they can be harvested later on. But these three inch ones right here with the shell still intact, obviously that's what you want because the oyster's inside. So I'm gonna grab this claw bar or crowbar, whatever this is, and uh, crack it apart. Yep, this is the fun part without me. All right. There you go. Just like that. It's pretty easy. You guys just wedge it in between and boom, there we go. That is a perfect oyster that we are about to harvest. Just oyster like that. <laughs> All right, just found another big cluster. Ooh, nice. Huh. What? You found some nice It's like ones. we're catching fish. Ooh, that's a nice one. <laughs> Jeff found something. No, it's a raw oyster. I accidentally, so I accidentally popped the top off. That's what we came out here for. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. That's so good. <laughs> Do I have mud on my face? <laughs> yeah, babe. Yeah, Look, that right there is why we came out. All right, easiest way to find these besides kind of spotting them out with your eyes is filling them with your feet. That's honestly how I've kind of located most of them. You'll just kind of step on a cluster and then just use your rake to pick them up. There's another quality catch right there of oysters. These things, by the way, are like razor blades. Look how sharp that is. So you guys, anytime you guys are going out, definitely want to have a nice pair of boots. But, oh yeah. All right, you guys, so we are out here at dead low tide, which is the perfect time to get on some oysters because a lot of them are gonna be exposed. Like literally, we are up in the grass flats up here. Y'all, as you guys know, for fishing, oysters are one of the best places for fish to go to. Not only is the water gonna be cleaner quality, but also it provides a food source, um, even protection for some of the smaller, like little bait fish, um, crabs and stuff like that are gonna be up in those oyster beds. As all y'all all, all know already, you guys can step on them, find them with your feet when you guys are walking. Kind of like what Jeff is doing. Then you guys can kind of use your rake to rake them up. Bunch of different ways to kind of find them. They're also on like a lot of these pilings and stuff, but honestly right here where we're walking, like right up along this flat, tons of oysters everywhere. So you guys, this is why like redfish, trout, flounder, all of our game fish, they adhere to. So we have like these grass flats. Everything's all related. So 
you know, like Christy was saying, the water quality around these oyster beds is that much higher. Plus the oysters do provide, you know, um, a food source. Is it? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Quality, look at that. That's prime time. That is awesome, babe. Oh yeah. But as I was saying, these oysters actually do provide a food source, you know, for all of our, you know, game fish. It's really cool, like, when we're out here, Christine and I are out here doing this, because we're actually, like, learning a lot more, too, just about inshore fishing as well. So, unfortunately, I found a lot of oyster bars and a lot of experience the uh, non-enjoyable way, because I'll be out, like, barefoot wade fishing, and I'll, like, cut my foot and everything. So, <laughs> why these oysters make excellent habitats for our inshore fish. Prime example, people. Yeah, check out that crab. That right there. Oh, little blue crab. He's just hanging out. That is In his awesome. natural habitat. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good teamwork, babe. Totally. Ooh. See? I had my eye on it. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. That's about the next Teamwork moment. makes the dream work. Seen all day. Yep. Prime time. Where's There's the crab baby crabs right there. I don't know. Here, let me poke it, see if it'll move. Their bait fish will eat those. Yeah, oh, it's crazy. Bait fish, I mean, it's just really kind of cool getting to see this up close and personal. You really get to see how many, I mean, we've, we found blue crabs. There's all different kind of crabs and crustaceans. We've found worms all over these. Let's see what we got right here. Oh. That's a good one. All right, just found another big cluster. Ooh, nice. Guys, this is a blast. We're literally, it's like we're dumpster diving in uh, Mother Ocean's dumpster. It's crazy, yeah. Ugh. Money might not grow on trees, but money definitely grows out here in the flats. Grows That's in the perfect. sand. All right, y'all, here we are back into the kitchen. So we got all of our oysters right here that I unloaded into the sink. And Christy just got home. She actually wasn't that mad because I unloaded all these muddy oysters and everything into the sink. So you guys, first thing y'all want to do um, is you want to rinse these out because these oysters, they sit in mud and everything. So just go ahead and rinse them under like cool water. Uh, I already rinsed a lot of these ones out, but as you can see, you've got like seaweed and just all the stuff that gets on the ocean floor. Um, you even get, check this out. So Christy and I, we were like shucking oysters and look at that right there. This is actually like a half alive, like mud minnow gudgeon. So uh, totally fresh. This dude was just living inside of this oyster. Check I that dare out. you to it's eat it, cool. Jeff. Really? Just kidding. I'm oh, come kidding. on. You won't do it? No, I'm not going to do that. Five bucks. All right. So today's recipe is going to be Oysters Rockefeller. That's what we're going to make for you guys today. It's going to be super easy. I'm actually going to have a few of them raw, just normal raw oysters, but it's really easy. So I just have, you want to use an oyster shucking tool, uh, also a towel. Um, I do have a screwdriver. So if you guys don't have a tool, then you can use a screwdriver as well. Um, but let's go ahead and so all you're gonna do is this is our oyster right here And then you've got the butt end of the oyster So you just want to take your oyster tool and just shove it into the butt end of the oyster And then you're just gonna turn your knife right there and that's gonna open it up And then you're gonna have a nice fresh oyster just like that So that's all I'm doing right now first thing is I'm just shucking all these oysters Right here, I've got my work cut out for me. Um, since I don't think uh, Christy is gonna be joining me. Are you gonna be joining me tonight eating oysters? I am not gonna be joining, but I will be cooking. Sure about that? You don't want any? Yep, I got myself some Chick-fil-A. Okay. Oh. So, yeah, so that's it. I'm just kinda shucking all these oysters right here. and uh, There we go, so. Beautiful, look at that. There it is. Whew. 
I'm a little worn out. I just shucked all the oysters. Check this out. So these are all the oyster shells. By the way, you want to make sure that you keep all your oyster shells because you can put these right back into the ocean or into your inlet or wherever you got your oysters from and they'll actually grow new oysters and oysters will actually use these shells. So you make sure that you do wanna recycle your oysters. I'm gonna go ahead and put these right behind my house in the Chesapeake Bay because Lowell knows the Chesapeake Bay needs more oysters. So we've had these ones chilling in the freezer right here. Now, Christy <laughs> is gonna show y'all how to do oyster Rockefeller. However, if y'all just wanna stop right here, then you guys can suck down a raw oyster. All right, you guys, this is probably the easiest and to some most delicious recipe out there. So you guys wanna start with your butter. You don't need a whole stick, but this is just to kind of coat the bottom. Um, this has been kind of on medium for the last few minutes, so I'm just gonna put it on the bottom so it helps it not stick. And that's just gonna melt nicely right there. While that's melting, you guys are going to take a whole finely chopped onion just like that. Doesn't have to be too fine, but you guys are gonna dump that in just like that. And that is what is going to give this recipe that really nice flavor. All right, you guys, so this has been sizzling for now two minutes. We've got the butter and the whole um, onion right here chopped up. Next, once this is cooking and sizzling, you guys will know your eyes will be burning. You guys are going to take a very large thing of baby spinach. This is 10 ounces. This is perfect for about three dozen oysters. So you're gonna add just a little bit at a time and you're gonna let this marinate just like that. We've got half of the baby spinach in here. You guys are just gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Boy, that's a lot. All right, a lot of olive oil, but we've got a lot of spinach and a lot of oysters that we need to cook up. Never too much. This oh, just helps it. So good cook a little bit faster, gives it that flavor. All right, we're gonna put this top on for just a minute, let it simmer, and then we're gonna finish adding the rest of the spinach. Here we go. This has been marinating for about five minutes. Next, if you guys have Romano or Parmesan cheese, we are going to be adding a lot to this recipe. Oh, this is what makes it so tasty. Probably my favorite part. You gotta add a lot of cheese. All right, you don't need a whole bag. Just about a half a bag is perfect. And then last, you guys definitely want some pepper. The last thing is lemon. Cannot forget the lemon. Lemon juice. Makes it super zesty, super flavorful. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait any longer. Now we're gonna stir this up. Then get on to our last part of making these Oyster Rockefellers. Second to last part, you guys want salt and you're gonna just simply uh, put foil down and then you guys are literally gonna coat the entire bottom of your tray with salt and then get ready to lay your oysters on top of all of this salt. The goods. Get the goods. Wow, Jeff has been, Jeff, I feel like they're uh, oysters on the rocks. They've been in the freezer so they're nice and chilled. Now we're gonna do the good stuff. Literally, you're just taking a little bit at a time and you're placing it right on top. Look at all that cheese. Perfect. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, what's next? I'm hungry. All right, you guys, preset your oven to 450 and for eight to 10 minutes, these bad boys are gonna be cooking. It's super quick and then you guys can get to eating. So here we go. Four you guys don't even part. need eight to 10 minutes. Honestly, four, five, we're probably gonna do like six minutes. At this point, you cannot mess it up. I just like a little bit of heat to my oysters. Again, 450 degrees Fahrenheit. It's already preset. We're just and gonna put it in there for six minutes and then we're gonna check them. Jeff loves them raw, so he doesn't mind if they're a little undercooked. Just and a then little bit of heat to them. He's gonna get to eating these oysters, so. That's right, y'all. All right, y'all, you ready? Oh, man. Check out those oysters. Oh, yes, people. That right there is what I'm talking about. All right, y'all. And then go ahead and grab a little lemon slice and do yourself some good, a little fresh lemon right on the top. All right, so check it out. So we got our raw oysters right here. These have been chilling in the freezer for about 10 minutes. All right, y'all, there it is. That's Christie's Oysters Rockefeller right there. I'm about to eat all these oysters. <laughs> check that out. Oysters Rockefeller, and then we've got our raw oysters. So, there's the chef. <laughs> Jeff isn't kidding when he says he's gonna eat all of these tonight. Y'all, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for giving us all your love and support. Uh, we definitely wanna pay it back forward to you guys. So, keep watching, like this video, and y'all, go home, make yourself some oysters Rockefeller, and drop us a line below and let us know how you like our recipe. That's right, y'all. All right, <laughs> I'm about to eat all these oysters. Peace out.